This video will show us how to add an employee, how to assign timetable on the employees, and how to get the report employee-wise or department-wise. First, let's create an employee. So here under personal module, we can add an employee. And you can see that personal number and department are mandatory fields. So other information you can add later or it depends. You can also use the Excel file to import the data in the software. And if there are time attendance device connected and it has some data, this also will be automatically downloaded to the system. So there are three ways to add a personnel. You can manually add through the software. You can import from an Excel file or you can download from a device. So if you want to configure some employees to a schedule or calendar shifts, you can go to the attendance. Here is the basic attendance rule as per the HR policy that you can configure. So first thing you need to do is to create the timetable. So this timetable in the sense you can define the time of the employees, which is going to be the working hours. Check-in means the exact check-in time and check-out means the exact check-out time. And you can define the range which time you want to calculate the check-in and check-out. You can also add here the break timings for this timetable. And here, there are other options like adding grace periods like late arrival or early out and overtime. So if you need to handle multiple transactions reports like this uh, multiple in and out, you can just enable this one. So duplicate punch period, meaning if an employee punch frequently, you can calculate like within five minutes, first punch will be calculated. So here, we can put five. And after this, you can save the timetable. So there's another option called the flexible timetable. So the one we created just now is a normal timetable. So flexible means there is more restrictions of in and out. So you can just define the total work time and based on that, it will be calculating the overtime and work time. So here, let's use the name Flexi. So you can define the work time. Example, we can put 540 minutes. And if you enable the overtime, that will be like if more than 540 minutes, it will be calculated as an overtime. So we have just created two timetables. And now let's see how to assign these timetables to the employees. So let's go to schedule. So as you can see here, there are two types of schedule, normal schedule and temporary schedule. So in normal schedule, if we have some employees having fixed timing for a long time or for a while, so we can define here. For example, you have one year fixed time. And we set the shift name as head office. And we will click the morning timetable. And then let's take the working days. OK. And then let's click OK. So here, there's another type of schedule, the temporary schedule. So here, there's an option like if it keeps on changing roster, you can use this temporary schedule. This is limited for short timings like monthly. So for this employee, for example, we initially set the normal schedule and we want to change it to flexi in between one week. So we just drag it and click OK. So it will overwrite the normal schedule. So after you do the schedule, you can go to the attendance report. Select the employee. Search and get the report from here. So there are different formats in the report itself. You can see here whatever columns you need, you can tick to enable in the attendance report or otherwise you can disable. So whatever you tick from here, it will show to the attendance report. And then you can save the layout. So there are other kinds of reports and it will be depends on your requirements.
Thank you.